Glazane Maxwell. Apparently, CNN um, has been exposed. There are some executives on CNN, Jack Taper and someone else, someone just um, basically resigned from the job. Uh, Project Veritas has exposed them. There have been some inappropriate um, pedophile shit going on. I don't know what's going on. We're going to watch the video together and check this out. Let me share it. Let me turn on the volume. Make sure you all can hear. My buddy David Harris posted this on his page. Let's look at this video. And then you guys need to make sure that you follow it. Project Veritas so you can all can see and look and see what's going on in this case. Of course, they trying to silence them. It's a lot going on, but here we go. Hey, Rick, I'm a reporter with Project Veritas. What do you have to say about your recent accusations against crimes against children? Do you still work for CNN, Rick? Project Veritas exposed another creep at CNN. Yet another producer, Rick Salibi, at CNN, we've exposed. So he thinks because you sent me money, you're going to get a nude photo of me and my daughter. Are you insane? He's asked for nude pictures of your 15-year-old daughter. Yep, mom and daughter pics. He always says mom and daughter pics. Rick, do you still work for CNN? Do you have any comments, sir? Once again, we ask the questions and they run away. God bless Project Veritas and James O'Keefe. Mother-daughter picture. Mother-daughter picture. What? What? What's going on? What's going on at CNN? Like, I, I was starting to think, like, you know, there was all these conspiracy theories about this global elite pedophile ring and all of these people at the top being tied to it. And all I'm saying is that it's a lot going on. I don't know what's going on, but now that CNN be exposed, let's move on to this Glazane Maxwell case. Now, Glazane Maxwell has been found guilty, okay? I'm getting ready to read off all of the charges. Hold on. Let me pull up my little notes here, and you guys can go look at them yourself as well. But she has um, one count of conspiracy to entice a minor. Um, to travel and engage, and engage in illegal sexual acts. Um, she has count two, which is enticement of a minor to travel to engage in illegal sexual acts. Uh, count three, conspiracy to transport a minor uh, with the intent to engage in criminal sexual activity. Count four, transportation of a minor with the intent to engage in criminal sexual activity. Count five, conspiracy to commit sex trafficking of minors. And count six, sex trafficking of minors. Now, with her being found guilty, I'm hearing that she is facing up to 70 years. But for some reason, they still kept the document sealed. So there are some names in there, y'all. Um, and I know that people saying that they leaked and I don't want, you know, my page blocked or whatever. But if you guys go do digging, you know, and you do enough research, then you'll see that, you know, there are some people that were tied into this and, um, you know, some people we look up to, <laughs> you know. But it's like when you start digging and looking into it and paying attention, you realize it all makes sense. Like, it's it's like a puzzle. It's like a puzzle. Like, when you look at the blank page, you're like, damn, I wonder where this piece go, where this piece go. But once you start putting the pieces together, the puzzle, it just becomes so clear. It just becomes so clear. So, you know, these people sick, man, and they got, you know, fetishes, you know, for children, and that's a problem. So, anyway, that wraps up the show. Um, I see my numbers are low. Um, Y'all know my numbers. 